exponential functions have what is called an asymptote. So an asymptote is a line that the function comes really, really close to but doesn't touch. So the parent function, y equals a times b to the x, is going to have an x-intercept, I'm sorry, a y-intercept of 1, and if it's growth, it's going to go shoot up like this, and it's going to come really, really close to but not touch the x-intercept. So therefore, we would say that this x-axis is the asymptote. It's going to get really close to but doesn't touch it. So, say you were given the function y equals 2 to the x plus 1. So, this plus 1 is what we call a vertical shift. Any shift that is over here and is not with the x, so it's not in the exponent, it's a big number outside, is going to be a vertical shift. So if it says plus 1, that means we're going up 1. So, I'm going to take this orange parent function, shift it up 1, and now my asymptote changed. So my asymptote also went up and is now at 1. So this is my new asymptote that the line gets really close to but doesn't touch. Okay, so let's see if you can try one. If I gave you y equals 2 to the x minus, let's do 4. So this means that the parent function originally has an asymptote at 0, x equals, y equals 0. But now we're going to shift it down 4. So it's going to now be down here at y equals negative 4. And we always write the equation of this line because it's a horizontal line. So get rid of our old asymptote. Now we have our new one. And now when you plot points, you're going to find that the graph will look like this. It's growth because 2 is greater than 1. And it gets really close to but doesn't touch this horizontal asymptote. The only other thing to mention is if you had a shift that looked like this, then this isn't going to affect the asymptote. This is a horizontal shift. And horizontals will move this left and right. So instead of it looking like this, if we shifted, it's going to look like this. But it still has the same asymptote. So only vertical shifts affect our asymptotes. And the only other thing to mention about horizontal asymptotes is remember, if it says x plus 1 like this one here, we're really going left 1. And if I said y equals 2 x minus 1, this would mean we would be going right 1. Because the horizontal shifts are always opposite of what the equation says. Alright, so if we put two of these shifts together, Let's say y equals, let's do 1 half, x plus 2 minus 1. So we have a vertical shift of down 1 and a horizontal shift of left 2. So my asymptote now is going to move off of the x-axis and go down 1 to negative 1. So remember, this is the line that it's going to come really close to, but it can't touch. We're going to have a point at negative 2, 0. Oh, change my pen. Negative 2, 0. Negative 3, 1. And I'm just using my calculator. I put it in my equation, y equals, and now I'm looking at my table. 
and then we're actually we get really close to the asymptote but we don't touch so this is generally what it's going to look like and it starts to flatten out and I know it looks like it's a horizontal line right there but it's not you have to keep remembering that it keeps taking half of that initial value so it's taking half and then half again and then half again so the change eventually becomes so small that the calculator right here at this point doesn't look like the graph doesn't make it look like it it's actually decreasing more but it is it you can always like we talked about you can always take half of something so this is pretty much what asymptotes all, are all about. Just remember when you graph to never cross the asymptote and that vertical shifts are the only shift that affects our asymptotes.